Welcome to CISO Forum Canada. Today is November the 8th, day one, and I am Daniel Pinsky. This is the third year for CISO Forum Canada, and it marks a special anniversary for myself. For it was two years ago this month in beautiful Niagara Falls during our inaugural conference, where I was so taken back by the quality of the content and the content of the character of those involved that I walked up to somebody from CyberX, I introduced myself and I said, I want to help you in your cause. I believe I can add value. And that was the beginning of a journey which not only encompassed our 2020 fully online experience, but culminates in this experience, our modified hybrid conference. First, once again, where speakers and presenters can meet in person to share their thoughts and ideas. And as I sit back and reflect on the previous two years, I've seen not only a conference and an organization that has continued to grow and mature, but I myself have continued to grow and mature as well. And I would like to take this opportunity to thank CyberX for allowing me to walk with them on this journey hand in hand. I would like to extend that thanks, not only to our sponsors, but to the attendees, the panelists, the speakers, and the organizers for making today happen. For those who are not aware, the in-person portion of this conference is taking place at the beautiful Hilton Ajax. And I think we should take a moment to acknowledge that the land on which we gather is situated within the traditional and treaty territories of the Mississauga. More specifically, the Mississauga of Scugog Island, First Nations signatories of the Gunshot Treaty of 1788 and the Williams Treaty of 1923. This land is and always will be the home of, to the indigenous peoples. And again, just a few housekeeping items. Over the next three days, should you have any questions or need any help, there's a live chat button on the bottom right of the CyberX platform. Also engage. The more you engage, the more points, the more points, the more coins, the more coins, the more prizes. So engage early and engage often. And finally, merchandise, swag. We all love it. Maybe something for yourself, maybe something for that special someone else. Head over to the vault. People are standing by. Now, again, finally, again, my name is Daniel Pinsky. I am the chair for this year's conference. But I also work for and serve my organization, CDW Canada. I am their CSO and head of security governance and compliance. And now let's turn our attention to my guests, my co-chairs, my co-pilots, Kat Kood and Michael Castro. Kat and Michael, this conference is spread out over three days, all cyber domains and leadership topics. Why don't we take an opportunity to introduce yourselves to the wider audience? maybe give us some insight as to why this conference, why was it important for you to volunteer your time for this conference? And what are those one or two or three sessions that you're most looking forward to over the three days and why? First, she needs no introduction. She's a privacy expert named to the top 20 Canadian women in cyber. When I think of GDPR, when I think of CCPA, I think of C-A-T, Kat Kood, the floor is yours. Thank you. Well, now I have nothing to say. Um, so you've covered that. So like Daniel, um, I was introduced to CyberX two years ago uh, at their CISO forum, which is actually where I met Michael, who will be speaking next. Um, and the community and networking and um, everything that's come out of the relationships built through this community and through the conferences has been invaluable. So why CISO Forum? Um, because 
being a chief information security officer, security officer, privacy officer, wherever you fall in that spectrum, being there today is such a crucial job. And it is, I, I mean, I say all with privacy all the time too, um, it's a journey, not a destination. So it is never, hey, we've set up our security and our company's good to go. No, we always have to build on that. We always have to be evolving and learning and adding more pieces, especially as threat vectors change. Uh, so it is really critical. And, in, and I believe as well as like Daniel has said in this kind of conference, and especially in the way CyberX puts it on with real experts, global experts, um, to help people evolve that program, to know where you need to go from that. So uh, Daniel had previously asked uh, if we could pick one or two sessions and it was very <laughs> hard to do because we really have a stellar lineup, uh, again, of experts, professionals, people in the field. So I'm gonna go with the theme of the yin and the yang. Um, the, the CISO role, and again, in that capacity is very much a balance. And so today there was a session at 445 uh, which is Eastern, which is um, striking the balance between the technical, technological and operational skills uh, of being a security officer, which is really key because again, I've always said too, cybersecurity is a place for everyone. Um, you do need to have all skills. Uh, you do need to kind of cover that umbrella. Um, tomorrow uh, on Tuesday, there is a, a neurodiversity um, talent or or neurodiversity in talent, or how to use that to your best uh, ability in a company. That's tomorrow at 4:45 as well. Um, and uh, you know, there's everyone's got their their pros and their cons and their strengths and their weaknesses. And we don't often. I'm used to manage a lot of people. We need to recognize that not everyone fits in the same box. And when you recognize that, you're able to really leverage your talent and your workforce. And uh, finally on Wednesday at 10, 15 Eastern AM is um, the rise of the robots. Um, just because this keeps popping Terminator in my head, but uh, also the, again, the dichotomy, the yin, the yang between automation and um, manual. And it's, it's great that we can um, automate stuff and we should, and it's important to learn more about that. But then there's areas that still need human intervention and interaction. So how do we balance um, those two. So that is my three, but again, the entire conference is stacked. So I will pass it back to you. Thank you, Kat. And those, all, those are all excellent choices. <laughs> Finally, last, certainly not least, founder and CEO of RiskAware Cybersecurity, more than two decades of experience in our industry. And I have no doubt every follicle lost on his head is representative of a lessons learned or the turning of a cyber wound into a cyber wisdom. Please join me in welcoming Michael Castro. Daniel, thanks so much. Wow, I've never had someone talk about my hair as much as you have. So <laughs> thank you for that. And I am excited to be here on day one of this forum. Mm -hmm. I have been engaged with CyberX for many years and like Kat, I was engaged and excited on that first session that we had back in 2019 in Niagara Falls. I have learned so much in these sessions that I have been on. And yes, 23 years of cybersecurity is my wisdom. And I've always had a big a moniker about continuous improvement. And continuous improvement has always been a part of my career path. CyberX and this forum has just allowed us and allowed me to continue on that journey on our learning and our activities. CyberX, I think, is one of the key conferences and, and um, possible sessions gathering of great peers that we bring together in the opportunities to learn, learn from each other and engage with our peers. And I must say, as, as, as Kat mentioned, it was these type of sessions where I met my peers like Kat and Daniel and have continued to, to learn in our network and continue to grow. So I think it's an exciting time for everybody. You know, if I take three sessions and I too, look at three sessions that I'm really excited about. I think they're all great. I, you know, as, as co-chairs here with Daniel, we've worked hard to, to look at our sessions and make sure 
that there are some great opportunities for everybody here. I would say my first pick is the, is the panel right after this one in our opening panel, defining the CISO. And I can tell you as a CISO and, and with, with lots of hair lost along the way, <laughs> we always have to be an expert in different ways, right? Whether it be technical governance or compliance, great session to learn that, to talk about it and to see all those pieces. And that's immediately following these open ring remarks. For day two, I am super excited and moderating a session on how to build your cyber security network, which is tomorrow at 7 p.m. Eastern. And I'm going to moderate and we're going to talk about how we use our networks, how we engage with our peers, and what are the things that help make us stronger security leaders. And it's not all about technical expertise. There's a lot to learn and a lot is part of our network. So excited about that session tomorrow. And finally, on Wednesday at 9 a.m. Eastern, the unemployed but not unpaid, and there's going to be a deep dive discussion about the criminology, the, the reason why we as CISOs exist today in terms of the ransomware, the gangs, and the criminology that really invokes why cyber threats exist today as they do. So that should also be a great session. They're all great, looking forward to all of them. And I welcome all of you here today. Thanks, Daniel. Thank you for that. And you know, Michael, to be honest, I also share your passion for growth, development, and leadership. Um, so yeah, I'm certainly looking forward to those sessions and all the others. Um, for myself, um, you know, just the opportunity um, to surround myself with better minds, such as yourself, and uh, peers across the country, across the industry, where I can myself continue to learn and grow. For me, this particular conference was never a maybe, it was always a, mu a must, and I do it with honor. The two sessions that I'm probably most looking forward to, again, they're all great, but the two I'm most looking forward to is, I will be monitoring a session for CDW Canada, where we're gonna be digging into user authentication and the menace of credential sharing. And the other session that I'm most looking forward to because it's a topic that happens to be very close to my heart is developing cyber talent from diverse fields. And that happens to be tonight. Um, so Michael, let's start with you for this round. So obviously it's a, mo it's a modified hybrid experience because of that, that presented its own, its own challenges, its own obstacles, during the planning and the preparation process. So in your experience, you know, what were some of those decisions that we had to make because it was a modified hybrid? And what were those key pieces of learning, the things that you enjoy that you took away from that process? Yeah, thanks, Daniel. So, I mean, we all know the, the, the life that we lead right now with COVID and COVID definitely has, has made things challenging. This has to be probably my 5,000th Zoom session that I've held <laughs> in the last 20 months. And, you know, it, it always is a stream that definitely has its pros and definitely has its cons. I will tell you, you know, it was very exciting back in, in, in year one of this forum when we all met in Niagara Falls and were able to engage with each other. It really was, a, was an opportunity that we thought about and really thought about the value and really the, the, the major benefit of why uh, uh, participants wanna be in person and what can be gained from that. But, but we live in a world where we have to be cautious and we have to be very concerned and protective of what we do. And I think really this hybrid model has brought out the best of the world that we can live in today uh, in, in November of 2021. So, you know, as, as, a, as a committee member, as a co-chair, you know, we, as, as the three of us sit here, sat and looked at what, what those pros and cons were. We are excited, though, that we were able to have this hybrid model. I think it's a great way for us to continue doing the way we are and still be able to have that feel of a uh, in-person conference and be able to hybrid and model it with the opportunity to have people out there still learning, still engaged, and still staying safe through all of this. Perfect. Thank you very much for that. Kat, what about yourself? What were those things that you enjoyed and your key takeaways from the preparation process? Yeah, I think it was a lot to think about the, the pros and the cons, like we're all saying about having it in person or not. And um, I mean, nobody wants to take the risk. Uh, it was interesting even to ask the advisory board how many people would or wouldn't show up. And there's still hesitation and that's okay. There's no judgment on that, right? So we're all 
we're all in the same boat here. But I think having this virtual model allows us to also expand um, to people in geographical locations that may not have been able to make it to Toronto. So trying to look at the silver lining of this is that uh, we're able to pull in some global guests from the US and from um, other places that may not have otherwise traveled in that are able to come on the conference. Uh, so that is that is a good plus um, for having it virtually. I personally miss the in-person networking. Yeah. Um, that's something uh, I know that uh, that I get take. Uh, that's the biggest takeaway for me from any conference. Um, and but I think Cyber Exchange has facilitated a, a great virtual version of that. And um, and given the fact that we had mixed numbers that would have even come had it been in person, um, we wouldn't have had that experience. And it would be difficult to have been at individual tables and wave at people from a distance and say, hey, saw your session. Yeah. Hey. Um, yeah. So I don't think at this point we would have had that that real networking experience anyway. So and it was certainly the right decision to do. Yeah, no, I agree. It's that struggle. And obviously we want to see people, but, uh, you know, it's difficult, like you said. And I think. CyberX did a really good job of trying to find that that middle ground. And with that, you know, uh, so 20 minutes have actually flown by very quickly. So with that, you know, I just want to thank, obviously, our audience out there. I definitely want to thank my co-chairs, my co-pilots for the next three days, not only for their thoughts and their perspectives, but also for their time. And for the rest of you, I'm actually going to see you in our first session at 930, like Michael mentioned, where we're going to be defining the CISO. Are they a technical governance, or compliance expert. All the above, none of the above. Let's find out together. And for the rest of you out there, again, welcome to CISO Forum Canada, day one. Take care and stay cyber safe. Thank you.